we are beneath uh, the table on which rests Blue, and each of these levers controls a different portion of her. There's a whole team of dudes down here. Hey, guys. And three, two, one, and that's it. Go, go. I'm Robin Guyver, and I'm a puppeteer. I think as puppeteers, we, we absolutely consider ourselves actors. The performance we're giving isn't, isn't ourselves, it's not our faces, but we're trying to project uh, a creature, a character, a personality through something else. And quite often it's not just one of us performing something, but like uh, Blue that we were performing in Fallen Kingdom, um, we had up to 11 people all trying to collaborate to create that one creature that had one emotional self, that had one, um, one story to tell in that scene. And so it's really about us working together and finding out what that story was, coordinating that, and then performing that through the amazing puppet that was built by the Creature team. So there's about eight puppeteers. There's a person at the back that does the lifting of the entire body. There's a person, uh, or two, which operate the main neck. The head is controlled through a radio control system. There's another puppeteer who's looking after the eyes, the eye blinks. Another one that's looking after the breathing and the nostrils. And then one other person who's looking after the jaw. The hardest part of our job is probably being stuck inside small, confined, dark spaces for many hours a day. So we're out of sight, so the audience don't see us, they just see the beautiful puppets. Um, and the most rewarding part, I think, is when we get a genuine interaction with an actor. We're giving a performance that they react to and they, that they can then improvise with that surprises them, excites them, or that they can actually have an emotional investment in. Um, and, and then afterwards they'll, they'll often come and say to us, wow, that's so much better than working with a tennis ball on a stick. Or, you know, having something real to work with is, is fantastic because that doesn't always happen anymore in films. <laughs> a normal working day in a box like that. Um, normal working day is probably 10 hours plus, plus overtime. Um, they'll let us out of the box quite often to eat our lunch, but, um, but when the camera's rolling, we, you know, we've got to keep going. We can't waste time on set. The actor's time is precious and expensive. The crew's time is precious and expensive. So um, we need to get those shots, and that's the most important thing. As much as possible, we try and take what's in the script, what's in the scene, and what the director's looking for, so that we get the actors something very real to perform with. And in, as much as they can then improvise and perform, um, uh, shot to shot, changing their performance, we want to be able to react to them and really give them something real to react to as well. <laughs>